This is an introduction to your kidneys and what your kidneys do. The kidneys are located under your ribs and shaped like kidney beans. If you make a fist with your hands, this is about the size of your kidneys. You can see here they're located on the lower back side of the body. Kidneys do a lot of important things to help keep you healthy. They remove extra water from the body. They keep body chemicals in balance. They control blood pressure and help build red blood cells. And they clean your blood. Kidneys often lose function over time. So you can go from having fully functioning kidneys to having only 10 to 15% function. And you may not show any symptoms until that point. When kidneys stop working well, several things can happen to your body. Water can build up, which can make it harder to breathe. Your heart beats faster. You might notice swelling. Waste builds up in the body, which can make you tired, weak, confused, itchy. You can have high blood pressure, which causes headaches, tiredness, chest pain. Your kidneys stop making enough red blood cells, which can lower your energy and make you tired. And the minerals in your body can be imbalanced, which can cause heart issues, bone issues. If you have a loss of kidney function for three or more months, that's called chronic kidney disease, which is often referred to as CKD. CKD is often silent and painless until most of the kidney function is gone, which is why it's so important to get checked every year to see how your kidneys are doing. So how do we find out how your kidneys are doing? Your family doctor, your healthcare providers can check your kidney health with routine blood and urine tests done during a regular checkup. In Canada, the leading causes of CKD are high blood sugar and high blood pressure, but these are not the only causes. The people who are most at risk of kidney disease are those with diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, family history of kidney disease, as well as other health problems. If you have diabetes, it's important to keep blood sugar levels controlled to prevent kidney damage, as well as other damage to your eyes and nerves. It can damage your Blood vessels in your kidneys causing waste and fluid to build up in your blood instead of leave your body. High blood pressure also causes kidney damage and leads to heart attacks and strokes. High blood pressure can damage the lining of blood vessels causing less blood flow through the kidneys. Salt and sodium affect blood pressure. Too much sodium in the body makes the body swell, can cause the blood pressure to go up, and this can put a strain on your heart. You should limit sodium to less than 2,300 milligrams a day. This is about one teaspoon's worth. And you can read nutritional labels to find out how much salt is in a food item. Some examples of lower salt options versus high salt options are cucumbers, which are low salt, versus dill pickles, which are very high in sodium. Another example is a cooked pork chop versus seasoned ham. The ways to keep your kidneys healthy are making sure you visit your doctor for that annual checkup. Know if you have a family history of kidney disease. Take medications as prescribed and follow directions to make sure you don't go over any daily limits. Eat healthy meals, limit alcohol, maintain a healthy blood pressure, manage diabetes and high blood sugar, be active, aim for a healthy body weight, and stop smoking. So the big takeaways are knowing if you're at risk, making sure you go for those routine annual checkups so you can find and treat any health problems early, and make sure you get checked by the Kidney Check team. Talk to your healthcare providers if you have questions about your kidney health.